Hello everyone. What if I told you that this AI right here, Manus, just analyzed a data set, ran full statistical tests, pulled the relevant academic literature, and produced a complete research package that includes a findings document, a detailed discussions document, a polished executive summary, more than 10 visualizations, a clean data set, and a full research report. Well, welcome to Manus AI, which is going to be your ultimate research agent. AI is getting smarter, as we know, and Manus AI is one of the best examples of what's coming next. This isn't just another AI model that's giving us answers. Manus is an autonomous AI agent that can think, plan, and actually get real work done for you. It's built on some of the most powerful language and reasoning models, and it's capable of breaking down these complex tasks, browsing the web, writing and executing code, analyzing files, and then delivering fully formatted reports all with really minimal effort from you and in this case you're going to see with just one prompt. So in this video I'm going to show you how we can get Manus to tackle advanced research tasks, analyzing a complete data set and generating that full report for us with the relevant charts, the findings, the discussions, everything we need. So let's get started and see how Manus works. Okay, So if this is your first time using Manus, the first thing that you need to do is go to manus.im and once you're on this page you're going to find a button which says try manus so you're going to click on that once you click on that it's going to take you to sign in with your google account and then it's going to tell you to activate your account and it will give you an option to either join the waiting list or if someone's given you an invitation code you can go ahead and enter that and then start using it most likely you're going to have to join using the wait list but don't be put off it's very simple you just enter the information most importantly here and this is a tip for you to get access really quickly, add a work email, or if you're a student, add your student email. If you do that, then within five minutes, you're gonna get an email to the email that you've registered on, and it will say you're in, and you'll be able to use the free version of Manus straight away. Just make sure you go ahead and join the waitlist so that you can get access straight away. So once you're in Manus, this is the interface that you're going to see on the left hand side here. We've got the new task bar. You can just start your new tasks and you can just search for any previous tasks that you have performed. You have the middle bar here where you can enter your prompt. You can attach some documents if you want. And at the bottom here, you have a number of useful cases that you can go ahead and have a look at to inspire you with different ideas with what you can do with Manus. And here you can use it for research, education, data analysis, and so on. I'm just going to take you to a file where you can see the full prompt that I'm going to enter because once I paste it into Manus, you won't be able to see the step-by-step -step details of the prompt. So everything I'm going to show you here from the prompt and the files has been created using ChatGPT. So the prompt says, I want you to act as a research analyst and academic agent capable of completing both statistical analysis and professional academic reporting. And I've uploaded two files. The first one is a remote work productivity data set. It's a CSV file. The second is a research notes remote work. It's a text file, which gives it the background information that I want. Both of these files, as I said, have also been generated by ChatGPT, just so that I can show you this example and you can definitely use your own files as well. So your task is to execute a full research study, including extensive data analysis, assumption checks, interpretation of results, a literature informed discussion, and export of all outputs and a literature informed discussion. So here are the detailed instructions. Step one, we're asking it to read the research notes, to extract the research questions, hypotheses and variable descriptions, and summarize the study context. So step number two, I'm asking it to clean the data. And in my data set that I generated with the chat GPT, I asked it to actually produce a realistic data set that had some issues in it that required cleaning, some outliers, just so that we see what Manus does with that. It can then generate those exploratory charts, such as histogram, box plots, scatter plots, and so on. And then step three, it will conduct the statistical testing once it's cleaned up all that data. And then step number four, now based on the analysis that it's done, it will now write the full findings section. And then step number five, it will complete the discussion section, which will involve finding the relevant studies by researching some studies on the web from academic sources and then compiling and correlating it with the results that we found so that it can produce a detailed discussion section and then step number six to give us all the output of the supporting materials including the assumptions that it used the analysis summary the references the figures the codes the analysis figures the analysis and so on and then produce a whole deliverable folder of remote work productivity that includes all the discussions, the findings, and the supporting files. So you can see how comprehensive the prompt is. So now I'm gonna copy this prompt, and now I'm gonna paste it into Manus. 
you can see this is now a paste as a text file and then now I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna attach my two files which are my research notes and my data set and then once I've attached these two files, now I've got my prompt, I've got the files that I wanted to analyze, and now I can start my process. So you're gonna see that it starts to tell us that I've received your files related to remote work productivity. I'll examine these files to understand what they contain and how I can help you with them. Let me take a look at the content first. So it's gonna first start reading my content. Now, if we look at the interface, you can see here that right in the middle, we can see step-by-step step what Manus is working on. And then it tells us based on your detailed instructions, I'll be conducting a full research study that includes, and then it tells me the steps that I mentioned in my prompt, which is data cleaning, statistical testing, creating a finding section, conducting a literature search, and then generating all supporting material. And then it tells me here that I'm going to keep you updated on my progress. And then it starts to execute the command. So step number one here, you can see that it's now performing the data cleaning and exploratory data analysis. If you look here, we can view Manus's computer. So I'm going to open this. And if I open Manus's computer, you can see here on the right hand side panel, you can view live action of what Manus is actually doing right now. So it's now telling us that it's now performing data cleaning and you can see what it's doing now with the data. It's now running the data cleaning process and you can see step by step what it's doing to the data. And down at the bottom here, if I open this up, you can see the task progress. So there's 10 steps in the task that it wants to complete. It's completed examine uploaded files related to remote work productivity. It's created the analysis environment. It's performed the data cleaning and exploratory data analysis. And now it's working on conducting the statistical analysis. And you can see live here what it's doing. So it's now generating the histogram, generating the box plot, the scatter plot. And again, in the middle, it tells us step by step what's happening. And I'll continue with the analysis and keep you updated on my progress progress for the regression analysis and at the same time you can see the regression analysis now being conducted here on the live screen okay and you can see that now let's finish the finding section on statistical results so it's made significant progress on remote work productivity now you can see it's now moved on to conduct the literature search on remote work productivity to contextualize our findings within the existing research and you can see that it's now accessing the live sources and I can click on some of these sources and it will actually take me to the exact sources that Manus is looking at. And you can see now it's trying to access other sources from the National Library of Medicine. And below here, you can see that it's now on task six where it's working on conducting the literature search for the discussion section. So you can see step by step the thinking process of what it's actually doing. You can see the task progress, what it's actually completed. And at the same time, we have access to the Manus's computer. You can see exactly what sources it's now investigating and looking at and compiling into research task. You've got your research assistant. You're just sitting back here, just watching everything that's happening. You're looking at the thinking process and it's telling you of the progress that it's achieved so far. Okay, and you can see now that it started to write the discussion section based on literature search findings. It's now written the discussion section and now we're on creating the supporting documents for the whole project and it's delivered the complete analysis to the user and now we can see that 10 out of 10 tasks are complete so it tells us here that i've completed the comprehensive remote work productivity analysis as requested the analysis examined the relationship between remote work frequency and employee productivity in the tech sector using the data set you provided here's a summary of what i've accomplished and then it goes through all the things that it's done and then all deliverables have been organized into a comprehensive package with the following structure you can see the main documents we've got the findings section as a docx file discussion section we've got the supporting documents they include the analysis summary the assumptions report the references we've got all the data files it's actually cleaned up the data files and the analysis results it's given us the code for everything that it's used the, all the python scripts used for the analysis it's given us the figures the visualizations and the figures and now everything has been given in this zip file so i'm going to now download the zip file and then we're going to see the output step by step. And now I'm going to start opening the file. So let's start off with the main documents and see what it's given us. So we've got two different files here, the discussion section, which I'm going to open now and look at this. I have a full formatted discussion section that has now been produced based on a data set, just a simple data set that I gave Manus and some information on the research study that and background that I wanted to do. I now have a full section that's fully formatted and look at the different categories. It's got the introduction. It's got the comparison with the existing literature 
based on the literature that it has compiled and found itself through its extensive analysis. It's got the potential mechanisms and explanations. It's got the practical implications. It's now found the future research directions. It's now got the conclusion and the references as well, all in a seven page document. So that's the first output it's given us. It's given us the full findings sections as well. So I'm going to open that. Look at this. Look how amazingly formatted that is. I've got the introduction, the descriptive analysis. I've got the productivity by the job role, by remote days work, the correlation analysis, the differences in productivity by job role, the multiple regression analysis, every single part of the analysis and the findings section that it has now completed and it's evaluated the hypotheses, the limitations and so on. Okay, let's go on to look at the figures that it's provided. You're going to see a vast number of PNG files showing us the amazing charts and visualizations that it's created. So let's look at this. We've got a productivity by job role and then I've got a correlation heat map and then it's remote day versus productivity chart, experiences versus productivity scatter chart as well. And then it's actually gone and put all the figures in my Word document as well. So I can just have them all inside here. Look how many charts and visualizations it's actually produced. And look how beautiful these charts look. Unbelievable, right? So that's the second output that we've gotten from Manus. Okay, so not only the, so not we've looked at the figures, the main documents. Now let's look at some of the supporting documents. It's given us the analysis summary. I'm just going to open that. So here, all the implications, the assumptions, the key results, the methodology that it's used. I've also got the assumptions report, everything that was based on the data set that I provided. I've got a references document as well. So I can see all the sources that it's used in my discussion section. And then if I look at my data files, you'll see now it's given me the final CSV file that was cleaned. So if I open that, you can see it's now cleaned my data set. Look how amazing that looks. Now it's given me the exact results of the interactions, the interaction results. I've got the regression results here as well. So I can look at each of the different analyses that it's conducted separately. This is really useful as well because I can double check what it's given me and whether the work has been done accurately. I've got all the different CSV files and I've also got the code that it's used to generate the different findings. You can see how extensive the, the files that we have received are. Now, it's not only one or two outputs, we have received multiple files that you know would have not taken hours of work to do, but this would have taken you days of work to produce. And we literally had Manus produce this for us in minutes. So you can see how unbelievable Manus is as an AI agent. All of this produced by Manus using one prompt and completely for free and beautifully formatted results. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can structure our prompt to create a full detailed literature review, also using Manus and the amazing results that we can achieve with that. So I hope you found this video useful and see you in the next video.